Ancient Egyptian embalmers were so skilled that modern scientists still can't fully explain how some mummies look this intact after 3,000 years. Mummification wasn't magic. It was a precise, refined science developed over centuries. By 2600 BCE, embalmers worked inside the Per Nefer, the house of purification. The body was washed with palm wine, then packed in natron, a natural salt mixture from the Wadi Natrun Desert. This dehydrated the body completely in 40 days, preventing decay better than any method in the ancient world. Next came organ removal. The liver, lungs, stomach, and intestines were preserved in canopic jars, each protected by one of the four sons of Horus. But the heart stayed inside. Egyptians believed it held memory and morality. The brain, considered useless for the afterlife, was extracted through the nose with a hooked instrument. After drying, the body was filled with linen, sawdust, or resin to restore its shape. Then came resins like myrrh and cedar oil, powerful antibacterial preservatives. Finally, embalmers wrapped the body in hundreds of yards of linen, sometimes embedding amulets for protection. The result was a preservation technique so effective that modern CT scans can still read muscle fibers and blood vessels, and ancient embalmers never wrote their methods down, meaning the most advanced. Science of the ancient world was carried only in memory and taken to the grave.